Metropolis. Now, a few videos ago, I said this is the place with the Rebecca Black ripoff. I'll explain why in a minute. I can I've talked to you before, so Metropolis. I love this level so much. This is by far my favourite level of the game. It is just fantastic. Nice. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. The inventor droid. She is Rebecca Black. <laughs> yeah. The the way she talks reminds me of Friday. I don't know why. Judge it or judge it for yourself if you think it does for you, but for me it does. With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. I love this level. It's so good. Uh, yeah, I I think... Oh, this... I just... I don't know words for how good this level is. It's just so much fun. But looking at my gem count, since these are the last 400 gems of the game, since this is the last level, I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anything else. Um, I'm about 99% sure of that. Um, because of that, that means we've given, because there's 12,000 gems in the game, we've given 6,100 gems to money bags throughout the entire game. That's quite a lot when you think about it. That's really a lot, but, oh well, what can you do? Oh yeah, I forgot it's the little eggshells with with legs. I forgot about that. That's slightly adorable. But here we have our first mission of the world. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. Why did you think freezing it would help? An ox won't be able to swim, you know. But whatever. These droids are dumb. If you're good enough, it's actually... You can do it quite, wow, you can do it quite quickly. But the... With the super flame, oh, it's so easy, this mission. Like, painfully easy. Ow. Okay, this mission's much harder than I remember it being. Oh my god, I'm actually killing myself right now. That's bad. That's very bad. Okay, let's stand back, probably die in a second, and think about what we're doing. Okay, so there we go. Ah! Uh. Oh, crap, I missed it. I would have been able to do it as well if I hadn't missed it, but oh well. It was bound to happen at some point. It's not actually a hard mission, and honestly, I just screwed it up. I forgot how I'm supposed to do it. I was trying to go for all of them when you just skip the second one, go for the middle. That's the trick here. Try not get hit by the side ones when you go round. If you see one, flame it, move out of the way, that kind of thing. It's quite simple, really. One to go. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. Ta da! See, it isn't that hard. I just screwed it up horribly. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. <laughs> I actually forgot what all these guys said because um, on my version, the uh, PAL version, the disc is scratched to the point where you can't, like, the audio of everyone cuts out, so I just skip their text. So I actually forgot what everyone says. This is quite good. It's nice for me to listen to them all again. I think, as a rule, most people skip over it anyway. Just because they do. The one thing that does bother me with this level, 
is like for, for the most part it's like oh look it's a red background so there are red gems yellow background there's yellow gems and there's green so there's green gems but there's somewhere it's just like oh yellow background green gems in phases why can't you just have them green I, it confuses me so I completely missed that well done me there we go okay I must say, I'm very much looking forward to Ripto, because there is a skill point to try and do it without getting hit. Now, I don't see that happening, personally, but if I can do it, that'd be grand. But I really am not expecting me to be able to succeed. Because it is not an easy boss fight. It is quite challenging. Hey, Re Rebecca Black. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, yeah. Y you'll see. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Friday, Friday. Am I the only one? Yep, yeah, probably. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceship must be stopped. Yep. Combination flight and fireballs. How awesome is that? <laughs> The answer is very, if you were wondering. If you weren't entirely sure of the answer, it is very awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a lot here, which I like, but it, it's not particularly difficult. It says four, it's not four, it's not that hard. The second one, there's more of them, so I guess, oh crap, okay, that was just my stupidity. Yeah, the second one, there's more of them, so I guess that's slightly harder, but it's not, well, it doesn't merit four. But I do love the idea of a combination power up. Oh, I missed it, really. All of them. Every single one. There we go. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. Thank you. And then more comes along. Here we go, the final orb of the game. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. Yeah, this one's five. So the final mission of the game is worth five. That's fitting, I think. Oh, Christ, that was close. Yeah, they fire a lot faster and more often, so that's their biggest problem. Biggest problem to deal with when it comes to them. But it's not overly difficult, to be honest. Just mash firing it and you'll be fine. It's just finding... There's always, like, the one that you just can't see. Oh, Christ, that was close. I don't know where the last one is. There you are. And I will not skip the final orb. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Thank you. The final orb of the game. There it is. 64 of 64. And now we have loads of gems to collect. Like, how many have we actually got? Yeah, there's like half of them around here, pretty much. Um, yeah. There's there's a lot of gems. Doesn't surprise me. I just love this level, though. It's it's so much fun. It, it never gets dull. So, there we go. This is it, pretty much. We're nearly done already. This has been really fun, I'm not gonna lie. I've loved this. It's been nice to play the game. And actually show off what I know about the game. Because, okay, granted, I don't know everything, but I know a fair amount, and I, I'm glad I'm able to share what I know about this series and this this game in terms of speedrunning and just how much you can break and just everything, really, because I think it's fascinating, personally. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> it could just be me. I don't think it is. I think a lot of you have really enjoyed it. I know some people have. Some people have really enjoyed the amount of things you can skip. I'm learning about that. But these are not the final gems. There is one more set of gems. Hopefully it counts to 22. If it doesn't, I'm missing something. Um, but I'll show you what I have to do for that. So what I want to do is I want to go down here. I'm going to go quite quickly. Because you don't have overly long to do it. But you have a fair amount of time. Uh, but the further away you get from the portal, the quicker it runs out, so you do have to hurry up around this time. 
But the point of this is to go back and break open that. And there better be 22 in here. It looks like there is. Haha! -ha! There it is! We did it! Metropolis is complete. There you go. You know what? Actually, no, screw it. I'm actually going to go through the portal. I better finish by going through the portal because I haven't in a while. But this level actually took me only 10 minutes. So yeah, I can get Ripto done, done in this video. I'm, I'm actually glad. So I wasn't sure if I'd be able to or not, but I can. And am I going to be able to make it up there quick enough? Yeah, I am. That is how you exit a level. Nice. Oh, I love that. That's great. Well, here we go. Final boss. This is it. The end. As hard as it is to believe, we have done everything thus far. Apart from one boss. And post-game stuff. But, yeah, here, oh, here we go. I'm excited for it. You should be too. Here we go, Ripto's Arena. Crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm, I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Okay, Ripto. You are not easy. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the Professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Now, the music in this boss fight is exactly the same as it is in the UK version, the PAL version, apart from the Opera Man. The Opera Man is actually removed from the, uh... On the power version, I don't know why, to be honest. Um, but as you can see, there are there are three different coloured um, orbs. Red is a fireball. Blue is um, um, is a uh, uh, blue is like a super speed, and green is as you're about to see here. Um, okay, it's not. I don't get that. I I get sort of like bomb type things, but it's not actually. You don't have to get all three. The last one you pick up is the colour. Um, is the one you, the power up you actually end up getting. Uh, personally, I think the red one's the best, um, as I think it's easiest to aim with and hit with. Um, until I, as I say that, I miss him every single time. Um, but yeah, it's a this is a really interesting boss fight, I think. And I've already failed the uh, the um, the no hit run, so that ain't happening, I guess. Oh wow, I missed. Ah. Yeah, as I've said, this fight is not easy. And I can't remember what his red is. Is it a dragon? Nope, okay. It is not. Yeah, so actually I should explain that this... Ah, we're about to see blue. I should explain that this fight has three phases. This phase, and I... Can't get him. There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's this phase, and... Oh, dear. oh, oh yeah, you can stop him. I forgot about that. You can stop him from using it. I actually genuinely forgot that. Ah! Existed. Genuinely. Okay, that's cool. Um, but, yeah. Phase 1 is the easiest. Actually, no, Phase 3 is probably the easiest. Thank you, Sheep. 
I ain't risking. Actually, no, I'm, it's too much of a risk. I need the sheep first. The sheep comes first. Ah! And then it was lost. Oh shit, I'm in trouble. Give me more sheep, please, for the love of God. That nearly got me. That was really close. Oh, fuck you. Oh, please give me it. Okay, good, I'm good. I'm good. I'll take that sheep over there as well. And, while I'm at it, I will get the green power up. And show you what it's like. So what you want to do is you want to chase him, fire it. It's basically bombs. And it, they're the worst, because they practically can't get him quick enough. Oh, did he get... What? Did he get two at the exact same time? What? How? And why? <laughs> oh, you lose. Phase two. The worst. <laughs> yes, this is Metal Gulp. Genuine. Do I still have the fireball? If I do, I can hit him loads. I hope so. Please, God, let me still have it. Damn it. Okay. It says I even have it. Come on, game. <laughs> That's mean. Yeah. Gulp's abilities are much different, and they are slower, obviously, because he has to go and pick it up himself. But they are much worse in terms of- oh god, oh dear, this is bad. They are much worse in terms of power, so I'm genuinely worried about this. Um, I think the best- no! Oh dear, I don't know what this does. Oh god, that's horrible. Ah! Kill- oh, come on! I need to get a sheep. Sheep priority. Oh, yes. That is the best luck I could have got. That is the best luck I could have possibly got. This is actually really good against Gulp. Um, it's terrible against Ripto because he runs away, but against Gulp is great because he doesn't. He doesn't move. Fireball was also really good. Running is probably the worst, to be honest. Yes, got him. Okay, looks like I'm going for speed this time. Yo! I'm not saying it's bad, but you can't get him as many, nearly as many times as you can with the others. So you do a lot more damage with this one! Ah, oh, damn it. I can't remember what he does with blue. Ah, oh, crap, I hate lasers. Oh, shite! You have a very good range. Oh, crap. Oh, hello. Sheep, sheep, where'd you go? Sheep, do not. Do not. Oh, fuck you. I <laughs> hate this boss sometimes. Oh, come on. Did that work? One more, one more. Okay, I'll sacrifice it for sheep. I'm actually about to die. Sheep, 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 sheep. Glorious sheep. And it's lasers again, of course. Why wouldn't it be? On. I hate this move so much, thank you. There's a green there, there's a blue right under him. Good luck me getting that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, I didn't think so. He needs to move for me to get that. And it's there. One, any power up, literally any. Any will do. Okay, green. Good. You lose. Come on, one fire! There we go, got it. Final phase. And it's starting to lag. Lovely. Bird. One problem now, having... I have practically no health. I have one hit that I can take in this form. And this form's actually the easiest, but it's still... You can still easily get hit. So you have infinite flight, and you have... Um, yeah, and you have the super flame. So... You have, you have the super flame to help you, and yeah, he has a turbo bird, which is nice, I guess. And it's just down to preemptively striking and knowing where he's going to move. Sometimes a little bit of luck. Uh, well, a lot of the times it's quite simple to know where he's going to go. It's quite easy to dodge if you know what you're doing, um, but yeah, it's still annoying and especially nerve-wracking if you haven't been here this morning. And I've only just realised it actually healed me fully. So actually, it's not bad at all. It's actually very easy. I've got three hits. I'm safe. I'm done. 
I've, I've won. There's just one more hit left. Where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, there he is. Is that it? That's it. And I got hit again. <laughs> Game done. You have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. And there you have it. Spyro 2. They're still playing the uh, music from Misty Bog in, at the end credits, but that's from Spyro 1, which is always good. So yeah, this was a really great Let's Play, I'm not going to lie. But we're still not done with it yet. We've got the, we got the Dragon Shores to explore, and uh, we've got... Hey, Dan Johnson. Yeah, we've got Dragon Shores to explore, and we've got another playthrough. It's not going to be the same playthrough, it's going to be a condensed version, basically showing you... Because uh, I, I initially wanted to do one which is this, um, and then one which shows off the skips um, and tricks. But I pretty much did that in this one as I went along. Um, so, it doesn't really matter um, uh, in that sense. But I do have to show you how you can break the entire game with the... Uh, with the... Um, ah, the words. With the Super Flame. And actually, this has just reminded me, I need to go back to Idle Springs to see if I can figure out the swimming in the air glitch. And, uh, and seeing if you can, um, seeing what it's like to, uh, use the supercharge with, while swimming in the air, if it's possible. Because, I want to know. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what to say at the moment about the game because I, I've had a lot of fun with it and I've pretty much just said how I feel about the game as I've gone along. Um, I mean, you know, I guess I could I could always do what I normally do with Let's Plays and, and new games. I could do my review scores. So, graphics. For PS1 game, graphics are pretty good. I'll give it a 9. Music, oh, 9, definitely. Story, I really like the story as well. I will give it a 9. Uh, gameplay, oh, definitely 10. Love 10. I replay really play a bit in length. Um, I guess I kind of have to fault it in the sense that it isn't actually that long. Um, but it does have replayability if you know the Super, Ch super Flame. Um, it's very addicting to learn the... Or at least, okay, if, if you're someone who's new at playing it, it's quite short. You probably won't know about the Super Flame thing. Um... Because you can actually start a new game starting with the Super Flame, and it doesn't actually tell you that. 
Um, but the so I guess someone who's new, you, it's technically not that long. But I don't know. It's um with the skips and the glitches, I I'm gonna give it a ten. I just I want to give it a ten. So right there, that's forty seven times it by two. 94 out of 100, 9.4. That's an impressive score, I think. Wouldn't you agree? Because I do. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I, I have definitely enjoyed it. I, I think it fully deserves the 94 it gets, I, I give it, because it is just fantastic. It's There's very little wrong with it. Like, Fracture Hills is infuriating, but it's not a bad level by any means. And I think it's just, it's one of those games where it really is just fantastic the entire way through, and it doesn't bore me at all. Tom Kenny, yeah, the voice of like everyone. <laughs> okay, not everyone, because there's three, three people, but yeah. It's, it truly is a fantastic game, this, I just, I, it's so cheap on the PlayStation Store, I, I reckon, if you have a Vita, get it for Vita, because you can play it anywhere, and that's lovely, <laughs> but anyway, next time, Dragon Shores.